walk around Target barefoot. It's fine. Okay. They'll just kick you out because you look homeless. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's me. Yeah, girl. So, do I have a whole ass video for you? I've been gone so long, and there are so many things I need to update you guys on. And I'm just so excited for this video. Now, a couple days ago, I literally got out like this week. <laughs> a couple days ago, I got out of jail. <laughs> I went to jail for, uh, assaulting a police officer. It is what it is. I'm not proud of it. You know, shit happens when you're drinking and drugging and being an idiot. But on that note, at least I got a good story out of it. And today I'm gonna show you how I did my makeup when I was in jail. And I'm gonna go through little things that happened while I was in there, you know, little tidbits, little, little here, little there, you know. <laughs> I had to bring my receipts, girl, because I know you motherfuckers like to think I'm on about every little thing. So we're gonna get into it. Um, I do not suggest you try this at home. Yes, everything's like safe, but like just who would wanna do this when like real makeup exists? I do not know. We gonna get started. Obviously I don't have any makeup on right now, so it's a perfect time to do it. First things first, I know I haven't made a video in like literally months, but that's because um, I have commitment issues. We're gonna try and get more into the groove of YouTube, so I'm gonna be posting video every Sunday. And I really hope you guys stay tuned, so don't forget to subscribe. Now let's uh, get this shit started. Instead of using like an eyeshadow palette, obviously I didn't have eyeshadow in jail. Um, and I wanna make this very clear, I went to jail. I didn't go to prison, two very different things. Um, I went to county jail. <laughs> so it's like, not that terrible, but it still sucked because isolation. I didn't get put in the general population, fucking God forbid, but it still wasn't fun. And I don't think going to jail for anybody is fun, but I didn't have eyeshadow in jail. So what one of the people in there showed me and she had been to a uh, actual prison before. And yes, I was in a unit with all trans girls. So it was like way safer than you might think. The home girl showed me, you can do your eyeshadow with colored pencils. I like double checked, I like read the ingredients on the back of these. It's just fucking like wax. It's not gonna like give me pink eye or like give me an infection or anything. Like this shit's completely safe. It's just like, they're not meant for your eyes. So like not the smartest shit to do. You would get a colored pencil and you'd get it wet. I did have access to a couple liner pencils. Uh, these are not obviously the same ones. They give me a different brand when I was in there. I'll put the picture of what they gave me up right here. But the way we got it, see this is why I brought my receipt. I found it. So basically you had this and I'll take a picture of that, this right now and put it up right here but you could order, where is it? Uh, eye pencil black, eye pencil brown, mascara, lipstick, lip gloss. Um, I mean, they let us order tampons if we wanted to, but you know, don't have any reason for that because I don't have a pussy. It's cute, it just looks like a Scantron test, you know? Fill in all your info and then they send it back. They bring it um, that Friday and it was cute. Um, we could also order food off there. We had a hostess one, you know. Shit like that. Obviously, they didn't have fucking foundation in there. So you know, that was fun. I had to walk around with bare fucking face. We're not gonna be doing foundation uh, because I didn't have access to it. And I know, my heart breaks into a million pieces that I'm not gonna be able to put any on for this video. My mom's just in the closet, it's fine. <laughs> just have to wait two seconds. <laughs> I'm not going without shoes. I mean, who needs shoes? You could be Amish. Just walk around. It's for shoes. <laughs> That's a thing, isn't it? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. We're fine now. So we're gonna go in with this red colored pencil and some water. Okay, this one's really not that red. So 
So we got a little color on there, a little pigment. Let me move my light. Yeah, little pigment, you know, better than nothing. Uh, <laughs> these are not the same colored pencils I used when I was in there. Um, so they're obviously not going, I'm not gonna get the same exact um, reaction. The things I do for you too. <laughs> for the record, I wasn't just in there um, like by myself or anything. They did let me out of my cell four hours a day, which yes, is terrible. Um, and I wish I could have been out for like most of the day. In segregation, that doesn't happen because they're worried about your safety, quote unquote, which I really think is bullshit. I was in there with someone who is in there for literal murder. <laughs> and then um, someone who was in there because she was doing her sex work stuff and then like robbed a guy with like a fucking toy gun. I'm just over here like, I punched a cop when I was drunk, Kai. <laughs> I don't know if I need to be here. But I am gonna try and like, s like fuck this up a little bit. Just like get in there with some other color. I'm gonna try blue. I know I'm starting to look like a fucking American flag, but you know what? I don't fucking care right now. I'm just trying to show you guys like the gist of what I did in here. You don't realize how much you like have until you go into a place like that. Because like, I didn't even have fucking eyeshadow. I didn't even have brushes. Like I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Like I had to do my eyeliner with like a lead pencil. It was like not the business. Okay. So that's kind of how we're just gonna be <laughs> for right now. Um, it's something. I had a little more pigment when I was in there, but again, like not the same colored pencils. So there's nothing I can really do. I fucking lose everything. Okay, we'll use this one. So basically what I did next is I had these. And these are just, you know, your run of the mill, like little uh, eyeliner pencils. And how I would do my eyeliner, cause like I always wanted a little bit of a wing. Um, and one of my, uh, one of the people I was in there with, uh, my girl Monique, <laughs> uh, taught me how to do like a little wing without having to like, you know, like finagle this. This is obviously like not pointed. I would go in there with like, pretend this is like a lead number two pencil. I would go in there with this and just like get some on the tip. And then I would go in and do my wing like so. If I have to go back in for more product, I have to go back in for more product because like this isn't a brush. I'd get a little wing and then I'd take this, connect it to my lid. I didn't have brushes, so if I needed to smudge something, it was always with my finger. You know, not the best, but it never was the best. Just do the other eye real quick and I'll be right back. Spilled my water bottle all over. <laughs> that would not have been fun. So this is what I would usually have. As for mascara, um, I'll do that in a second, but we literally had like real mascara. It was wet and wild, it was not waterproof, and I hated it. <laughs> now for my eyebrows, again, same kind of thing. You could either just use the pencil or you could use the lead pencil technique. I would usually just go in and swipe them. Like I was always in a hurry to get out for day room, which was the time out of my cell. So I'd usually just swipe them on like that. And that was the end of it. If I did my eyebrows thick, if I like went and like took time and like did them like thick, the girls in there would like not have it. They'd be like, you look like a boy, feminized. So like, it was better to just have like this thin ass line for a brow than to have like a chunk Instagram brow. Put on a little mascara and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, got the mascara on. I'm literally not wearing this all day. I'm taking this right off after I done with this video. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> wanna make sure you guys get the whole look. Okay, sometimes I would do lipstick. Um, again, if you were gonna do lipstick, you'd had the choice of like buying a little lip gloss or something. They didn't have liquid to mattes, so I'm not gonna be using a liquid to matte. This is probably pretty close to like what the Pink Breeze lipstick would have looked like. I never ordered it, so I don't know what it looked like, but this is what I'm gonna be using today. And 
and that would be it. Like, that would be it. Like, you'd be done. Like, that's all you had. <laughs> and if you didn't like it, well, then you just wouldn't wear makeup. My hair is a disaster, <laughs> but it's fine. You were able to get emails in there. I mean, you weren't able to go on the computer and like look at the email, but they would print out emails for you. Like my friend sent me a couple, just slide them under your door. They would hand out write-ups like they were candy. Like you didn't even have to be doing anything wrong. One time I like brought like one of my like little books to visit to like show my mom and they got mad at me for it. <laughs> like you can't do that. I was like, I literally didn't know that, but okay. And then the fucking officer said that I called that I called the sergeant and I was like, bitch, are you blind? Look at me. That word's gonna come out of my mouth. That makes sense. It's not like I went to prison. It's nothing like Orange is the New Black. Like that movie is bait, movie. That TV show is based in like a federal pinch of excuse me, I can't talk apparently. A federal penitentiary. So like that's all cushy and like, it's not, like jail or prison. For visits, it was a glass window. You had to talk through the phone. It, it was it was a little crazy. I'm just lucky that like, I had people to like help me through it. Thankfully, um, I got out of it okay. Um, I didn't get beat up or like attacked or anything. Um, and that's what I was really scared about going into it. But, you know, I mean, I came out of it with a crazy mugshot and it was an experience. I never want to do it again. I never want to have to go through that shit again. Um, and I don't plan to, but at the end of the day, like we're here, it was not fun <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm done, I'm gonna go. Uh, I need more coffee, I need more fucking Red Bull. I'm already fucking over this day. So <laughs> I will see you guys later. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys next Sunday. Uh, fuck church, watch Kill Sky. Bye guys. <laughs>